Welcome back, everyone. Joining me today is Caitlin with Fairway. So we brought some vegetables because, let's be honest, not all of us just like to pick them up and eat them. <laughs> exactly. You always hear people say, eat your veggies. But a lot of us don't know how or, or some easy ways to really do that in our daily life. So throughout the summer, I'll have some different tips for you to increase your fruits and veggies. I have three today, and okay. they're very, very simple. So the first one is to utilize your freezer resources. So I always have some bags of, you know, frozen onions and peppers, broccoli. I always have some of these on hand. They're great to throw a handful you know, in your casseroles, in your scrambled eggs, um, in your soup, whatever it may be, these are just a really easy, nutritious option to have on hand at all times. I gotta be honest, I actually have a frozen bag of broccoli in my freezer. I have not used it at all. <laughs> I do prefer fresh, but is there a reason you want to do it in the freezer instead? So frozen are actually sometimes more nutritious really? than fresh because oh. they, they are frozen right, you know, when at the peak time, so all those nutrients are trapped in there. Okay. So oh, I'm learning new things. Yep. Today. Definitely use okay. those up. Next up, one of my favorites, zoodles. I think these are so fun. So here we have a zucchini that I've just made into some zoodles. Oh my gosh, what a cute name. <laughs> so you can make your own. I love zucchini um, or yellow squash. We could also buy these packaged. These are kohlrabi linguine, um, but a really nice pasta replacement, saving a lot of calories and getting those excellent nutrients in as well. And would you boil it normally just like you would a normal noodle? Would you bake it? You don't even have to boil water. So these can steam in the bag. Um, if you make them yourself, you can just saute them for about five minutes and then add your favorite sauce. Okay, easy. So very simple. And then last, these are something that I always keep on hand as well. These dole chopped salad kits, an awesome easy lunch if you can just add a little bit of protein. They're made with some heartier greens, so some kale, some cabbage, so they stay fresher longer than your okay. traditional iceberg. Um, and then we have these man's salads. And these I like because you can actually saute these up. This is what's in this. Um, some Brussels sprouts, some heartier greens and it's a nice warm side dish. Okay, definitely. And also we know that the kids probably have a hard time of picking up the veggies as well. This is yes. probably a good way of this is tricking a really, them. really fun one. These zoodles are very kid friendly and, and who doesn't like to top it off with marinara sauce. So definitely marinara <laughs> sauce goes great on everything. Yes. Well don't I like it. Okay. All right. So out of these three, which is your favorite? Um which is the easiest to make? I think the easiest one is just to have these frozen items on hand. And if you're making a cup of soup, just grab a handful of broccoli and toss it in. You know, you're adding a lot of great things just very easily. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. you being here. I'm learning something new today. So this is awesome. Also, if you want to guys have more recipes just like this, just head on over to fairway.com. Stick with us. We'll have more news after the break.